At some point this new year, you're going to pop the bubbly, and if you're looking for great value, the word on the label to look for is Cremant. It's a sparkling wine made from outside of the Champagne region in France that uses exactly the same method and very similar grapes, but it saves you pounds at the checkout. It's scrumptious on its own, but you can also make a phenomenal cocktail out of it. You could try, for example, a French 75, a bit of gin, sugar syrup, lemon juice, and sparkling wine. You could even use a bit of champagne if you are feeling like splashing out. And if you really want to chill down a bottle in a hurry, get your ice bucket and add a handful of table salt. It reduces the freezing temperature and gets that wine ready for the party in short order. When it comes to celebrating New Year with a few nibbles, as far as wine goes, there are loads of different matches that are going to set your party alight. Now, Italian Pinot Grigio is ever popular, but I'd say a great all-rounder that just has a, a little more richness and peachy flavour is a Gavi. Made from the Cortese grape in northern Italy, it's spot on with a wide range of nibbles. If you're serving things like charcuterie or cured meats, a red from the south of France, all that sunshine gives plenty of flavour and great value for money. I think a wine region that's punching well above its weight is the Costier de Nîmes. And whatever you're pouring this year, I'd say think about decanting your wine. It doesn't matter about the shape of your decanter, you can use any old jug. It's the act of pouring that amplifies flavour and aroma, giving you extra flavour for free. Similarly with your glassware, always pick glasses that taper in a little bit and only fill the glass up to the point at which it turns back in, leaving plenty of room for sniffing and swirling. Gin is so popular at the moment, and I think part of the reason is thanks to all of the choice. Different botanicals in the recipe create slightly different flavours in the gin, so tasting through them and finding the one that's right for you is great fun. I would say, depending on what the gin is made of, you can also have a bit of fun with the garnish. For example, if the gin is made from Mediterranean herbs, try a little basil leaf as a garnish just to enhance that flavour. Whatever drink you decide to serve across this celebratory season, just make sure it's something you absolutely love and make it a belter.